Hey guys, Mike Vasil here, and in this video, we're talking about how to make money with Alibaba.com and how beginners are earning $100 to $700 per day. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasil here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, in, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Check it out in the free workshop below. All right guys, so the first step is actually understanding what Alibaba.com is. Alibaba is essentially a place where you could go to online that connects you with all the Chinese suppliers that can allow you to sell physical products. Like if you could see right here, you notice that there are literally so many different products that you could go ahead and sell on Alibaba.com and the beauty about this is this allows you to get very, very good, high quality products for very, very low price. As you can see, there's handbags, waist bags, backpacks. It's all these warehouses that are literally located in China that kind of supply the bigger online e-commerce brands right now. And this is where most people actually go to to buy their products in bulk and get them at a very, very affordable price. For example, back in the day, I wanted to start an e-commerce business, right? And I was like, okay, I wanna go and sell grill mats because you know, me and my dad went to barbecuing and we're like, okay, maybe grill mats is a huge need and especially because we're around the holidays, people are gonna go ahead and buy it. So literally back in the day, I would come in here, type in grill mats, and normally, you know, I found out that we could go ahead and sell them for like 19 or $20 online. But the craziest thing is when you go to Alibaba and you buy it in bulk, my cost would only be 36 cents. So you could actually see the entire profit margin right there. Like think about it, like back when I went from like zero to $1.5 million in sales in 12 months, the reason why we were able to scale so much is because we understood which products would allow ourselves to give a really good profit margin so that we could just reinvest back into the business. Now the second step is identifying your winning niche. Now the problem with people that are, you know, just going to Alibaba right away, sometimes people get overwhelmed and they don't actually know which products to actually go ahead and sell. So that's why most of your time on Alibaba should actually be going after the products that you already know will sell. One of the things that helps out a lot is actually going to Alibaba's sister company, which is AliExpress, and it allows you to actually see which types of products are doing well right now that are already in demand. For example, say if I wanted to start selling e-commerce products to cat people, right? I can literally just type in cat, and without me having to second guess what I could actually go ahead and sell, you could see if I sort everything by orders, I know just right now that these are the top selling products in all of like China in terms of cats. Like you could see that this one right here is a bed cushion. There's 26,000 sold. This one's a teeth grinding catnip toy. This is 20,000 sold. You know, there's a litter mat right here, 16,000 sold. This back scratcher for cats, literally 14,000 sold. Just like that, I already know exactly what is actually gonna do really, really well for me. Another way that I like finding niches or uh, products that I could go and sell is even going to Amazon and seeing how could I actually improve products. So for example, back in the day uh, when I was selling the grill mats, right, I would literally come into here and find grill mats that were going for, you know, like $39 or something like that. Um, and I would come into here and find out what they were doing wrong, right? This was actually one of my competitors at the time. I would come into all their reviews and I would see, okay, uh, for me to sell a winning product, I need to solve a problem, right? But if these people are selling these like crazy and not solving certain problems, then that's where I could come in and actually improve on the product. So for example, right here, very poor quality. Only uses once, complete failure, and does not wipe clean. Meat juices, fats burn into the sheets, makes cleaning really, really hard. Use once, and mats split away during washing in soapy hot water. So just like that, you know, I'm seeing a quality issue in this. So when I go and reach out to people, for example, these suppliers that are selling it on Alibaba, I need to make sure the quality is really good. The moment I understand the exact product that I wanna go ahead, and I've understood exactly how I can improve it by looking at all of like the reviews that you see in competitors in Amazon, the next thing I wanna do is reach out and chat with these people in particular. And what I wanna do is order a sample. Now here's the thing, with Alibaba you have these things called uh, minimum order quantities, and the more you order, the cheaper your price actually is. Now the beauty about this with Alibaba is you could put your own branding on it, which we're gonna teach you exactly how to do, but before you wanna you know, devote to buying like a thousand units or a hundred units or even like 50 units, of this product, you wanna make sure that this is high quality. So what you could actually do is go over here and contact the supplier 
or chat with them like directly and they will give you what is known as a sample so you could come in here and literally see a sample of is this a high quality product or not and that will allow you to get like a better judgment to see if this is actually what you want to go for the next step that you want to do with the sample if the sample is really really good you don't want to waste any time because the thing about dealing with suppliers in Alibaba in China and whatnot is it could take like literally months to get over to your actual, you know, like warehouse or even to your home, like what we did when we were first getting started, right? With the shipping and the branding and all of those things, it could take like a long time, especially depending on the weight of the product, right? So when you actually have the product sample and it is a good go, you wanna start taking a bunch of product photography pictures uh, for whatever e-commerce platform that you're gonna go and sell it. If you're gonna go sell it on Amazon, make sure you take a bunch of pictures that look like the competitors right here. You know, just like simple pictures or whatnot. If it's on e-commerce sites like Shopify, make sure you wanna take a bunch of videos and stuff like that as well. Maybe you could start creating like advertisements for Facebook ads or influencer outreach. With that being said, remember, time is very, very important. If the sample is a really good quality, you wanna make sure you wanna start taking some marketing materials on that. Now the next thing you want to do is just literally order the products in bulk. Now I wouldn't go and go crazy and swing for the fences for like a thousand. I think the really good order size to get started with is maybe 50 to 100 units, okay? Especially if you are on Amazon or if you're selling your own e-commerce products. This is a really good place to go ahead and get started and especially if you don't have that crazy budget, it's really a good, you know, starting point for those beginners. But before you order, the most important thing that you wanna do is maybe add your own branding on it. So what I did back in the day is like, I would go to Upwork or Fiverr, and I would literally type in Amazon logo design or something like that. And you know, some of these people would literally create me a logo for like $10 or $10 right here, or you could see some of them are as low as like $5. The reason why, as you can see right here for $5, you could literally put any design or logo on any of your you know, physical products, right? It, it's very powerful because the thing about that is then you create now your own brain instead of just being like a one-off you know, brand that doesn't have much of like a branding to it. So Fiverr and Upwork is where you could go to get really cheap graphic designers to create a logo for you. And then you could reach out to your supplier and be like, hey, can you uh, put this on all of these packagings or whatnot? And then they could actually add the packaging for you, allowing you to actually increase your prices, which allowed us to actually sell you know, our grill mats for like up to $26 to $29 at a time for something that would only cost us like 50 cents. Now, really good example of that is like Gymshark. This is literally what they did. They started with like fitness products and whatnot. And because of that, they were able to pull in 18 million pounds in profit. So it's about like 20 to 25 million dollars. And they did, literally did the exact same thing. They got test products from China. They put their own branding on it using Upwork or Fiverr. And then it was time to actually go ahead and scale their business. Now, when it comes to selling, there's really two ways that you could go ahead and do about it. If you wanna just do it yourself, you could literally partner with a company like Dollar Fulfillment and then they will literally store all of your products for you and ship it out to your customers directly. The beauty about this is you could link it with Shopify so that way if anyone ever buys from your e-commerce store from Shopify, it will just ship it out to them directly. Another way that you could use is also fulfillment by Amazon. That way you can literally just ship it to Amazon and they'll do all the selling for you. But you need to also understand how to use Amazon, how, to, how Amazon works, how to price your listings, how to actually title your listings, how to actually get the right images. If you need help with that, we have a full Amazon FBA tutorial in the link below. But essentially when people get started, these are the main two that people go ahead and get started with. And then of course, if they wanna go and sell cat products and they want extra marketing, they could go to YouTube and find really cheap influencers to go ahead and uh, partner with to go ahead and make videos for them. Like what I would like doing is scrolling down and finding people that literally talk about cat stuff. If I was gonna go ahead and sell like the cat products like I was showing you uh, for this example. And just like that, you know, these people could literally go ahead and make videos about it. And look, it's like almost extra free marketing. 600,000 views, only 4,000 subscribers. If you give them like like 20 bucks or 50 bucks for, per video, you know, they're not making any money and they would get actually excited that you're paying them to actually make videos that they're already making videos about. Another way that you can make money with Alibaba is with affiliate marketing. Now people actually recommend Alibaba and people buy products from Alibaba and the craziest thing is you could earn upwards to $240,000 every month with the world's largest online place. All it is is it's free to join, um, global reach of 15 Alibaba sites uh, with different languages and the craziest thing about this is once people buy things from Alibaba, you can get a percentage of the sale. What you can actually do, for example, is talk about like e-commerce or uh, tips and whatnot. Like if I just type in e-commerce marketing, right? Look at all these things that pop up. 
If I start making videos on all these things and people are like, well, where, where can I find suppliers? If you recommend Alibaba and if they go ahead and make a purchase of like a hundred or a thousand or ten thousand dollars, you could get a percentage of that sale, um, which is beautiful because then you don't need your own product, you don't need your own service, you don't need all like the hassles that comes with like an e-commerce business, and it's really, really passive. You know, you could be the only person in your team doing this. You don't need a big team. You don't need to be tech savvy. You literally just need to create content based around e-commerce and Alibaba. Now, as you can see, when I started doing this, you know, the ads that also play on this video, kind of like when I started creating content about this, is even insane. And you can see that it's even more realistic for anyone just getting started because if you could see this, this literally only just started happening in the beginning of this year. You know, like at the lowest of lows, like in August, it was only like $7 or something crazy like that. And then it started going crazy the moment I started treating it seriously and creating content around this. Um, and other than, of course, you know, recommending affiliate marketing products with Alibaba, you can even find other products on ClickBank as well. This is where I go to go and promote offers as well. There's a bunch of products that you go ahead and sell on ClickBank that you don't need to, you know, create yourself. You don't need customer service. You don't need to handle inventory. They do all of that. And you can make some really good money on the side as well. You can see in the past seven days, we've netted about 8K. And if we go over in the past 14 days, you can see that it is about 17K. And then if we look at the past 30 days, it is about 35K. And of course, if you want the fast and easiest way to make money online, check out the free workshop below. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and check out my podcast of all these multimillionaires that make a bunch of money online. Check it out now. With that being said, love you guys. See you guys later. Eww.